Okay, a few of them have been repotted. These are in hanging plants now. I need more soil, so I'm gonna go buy some more soil. I got my snake plants separated, but I still need more soil, and that one's gotta come be separated some more. This one can probably be split up still too. So, that's how it's coming. Okay, so my plants are much happier now. It took me nearly a week to get them all repotted because I had to go keep buying more potting soil. It took a lot more soil than I anticipated. It's the first time I've ever had to repot plants. So out of one um, snake plant, which is this one, I ended up with six out of one or two philodendrons, I ended up with four hanging ones. I repotted a bunch of those, whatever they are. Here are some of the, this is the uh, apple trees. More of the, cat, the snake plants. They're so easy. If you guys want to get a plant that you can grow, this is a wonderful one. An aloe vera plant, I, I put it into a great big one so it can have some babies. Little tiny philodendron. We are remodeling inside, so I have furniture everywhere. We have a, a fern that I got going again, and a little start of a spider plant. I'm not sure if it'll take off or not. And my aloe vera plant had a baby, had two babies. The first two babies I had for my aloe vera. This is a succulent that isn't doing so hot. <laughs> and these are the trees that I'm trying to repot. Some of them look, maybe two or three look healthy. And then I have an English ivy there. So, <laughs> I ended up with a whole bunch of plants that I'm gonna be able to bring into to the um, house this winter, which I really, really like because I love having like the boho feel and atmosphere of lots of plants in my house, lots of macrame, that kind of thing. If you didn't get that from me, <laughs> that's the kind of person that I am. I'm not real materialistic, but I really do like um, just nature and things that I can make with my hands. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all more.